Matt here, Atlas Precision Consulting. In today's video, we're gonna go over importing a mass update document. Uh, we'll go over uh, choosing the columns uh, that you're gonna be updating. We'll also go over selecting and deselecting items to update. I'll show you guys how to schedule the changes. And then lastly, we'll review job status. Now to start off with, I have my Excel document here that I've been uh, updating some data on. I just wanted to kind of review that real quick with you guys and show you, remind you what that looks like. It's all these different uh, worksheets at the bottoms are related to tabs within P21. So I'm gonna close this. To import it, it's simply just clicking on the import button. I am in mass update for item maintenance. I'm on the Excel query uh, option and I'm gonna import my document. So when I grab my document here, the window that's going to pop up is it's all the columns that are there in uh, my Excel document. So even though I may have a bunch of document or columns in there, I can choose to only bring a couple in that I'm really concerned about updating. Uh, you can go through and, and click them one at a time, the ones you want, or you can hit select all and then go unselect the ones that you're not concerned with. Uh, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to hit select all, accept and continue. Uh, and so it's going to bring those in and now you can see we have those same tabs uh, down here at the bottom that represent what was on our excel document uh, one thing to keep in mind there's nothing in here at this point that's going to show you uh, something is wrong or what you're changing it from and what it's becoming it's literally just bringing in that exact data from your excel document and i do have an error that i put in here just to show you what what that looks like um, so to by default, because our Excel document had the update column set to Y, it comes in pre-checked. Um, you can also hit deselect if you wanna deselect everything and only pick a couple. Uh, you can hit select all and it obviously will select all. Now those deselect all and select alls only affect the columns that you're currently on. So if I come in here and deselect these and come back to this tab, you'll notice that they're still selected. Um, again, uh, let me reselect all those. So if we wanted to just commit this one right now and make it live, we would hit send changes and it would go right away. Um, keep in mind, if it's a very large file, you're probably not going to want to do that in the middle of your busy time of day. And that's where the schedule changes come in. You can click this and it brings up a calendar and you can also set a time that you want to um, have it to go live. So I could, you know, pick it today. I want to leave it today, but then I want to set it, you know, for... Um, 12 a.m. and want it to go live. Uh, that's not what I want to do, but if I did, I would hit set and that would um, schedule that for that time. Now, keep in mind, once you schedule it, it's scheduled. Um, it's committed at that point. Um, just like when you hit send changes, it's committed. There's no rewinding that back. Uh, so for the sake of this video, I'm going to submit these changes. Uh, it will tell you that it can take uh, uh, a lot of time or could take a little bit of if if you have a larger file uh, so i'm going to hit save now and then i'm going to pause the video and then i'll be right back so we can look at the job status okay our job has posted i'm going to go to the job status uh in the results field here and you'll see all of the different jobs that i've run this one here is the one that we just did if i click this you'll see that there were three items two of them passed and one of them did fail. And it tells you why, that the family ID, I forgot the ER on washer, uh, so it only set it as wash, which was an error. Now keep in mind, a failure on a single item will, uh, will not allow any of those updates for that item to go through. So you will have to completely fix the problem and completely redo that item to get the information to take. Um, if you guys have any more questions on mass updates, uh, put those down below. If you have uh, other things you want to see videos on, put that also down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, Atlas is here for your P21 needs.